Welcome friends to the second tutorial on NVIDIA's Tachotron 2. I am your host and guide, David Attenborough. In this video we will be training our very own custom model. This is not a task for the faint of heart. That is why I've brought a friend with me. Everyone, please welcome Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hello Dave. Thank you so much for your invitation. Yes it is I, Neil deGrasse Tyson the king of outer space. With both of our amazing minds combined, this tutorial shall be as easy as spinning a cork. Hey science boys, it's the ace man, Adam Carolla. I'm taking a break from my podcast to help you figure out this Takotron thing. The other day I saw a video clip of a monkey riding a motorcycle, and then proceeds to the old baby. David, it made me think of you. And how about you Neil Tyson? Are you going to get your ass to Mars with Elon Musk? Thank you for dropping by, Adam. It's a pleasant surprise. I personally know that monkey. His name is Mr. Bigglesworth, and it's a shame to see him head down that life of crime. Hello, Adam. It's a pleasure to see you again. Well, as a Libra, my horoscope tells me that traveling to Mars would be a terrible idea, and the stars never lie. And by the way, you always forget my beautiful middle name. Neil, buddy, I've said it a million times, your middle name is just a little pretentious, and I refuse to say it. David doesn't get all upset when I don't call him Sir Edinburgh. Now, now, let's have no more squabbling. We have much work to do. Let's begin with choosing a speaker and collecting source audio, which is the most important part of building a model. The source audio needs to be cleaned with as little background noise as possible. The amount of source will determine the overall quality. For instance, I was built from 19 and a half hours. Adam was built from 18 hours. And Neil was built with the absolute bare minimum amount of around 10 hours of source. That is why he might sound a little rough. No offense, Neil. No offense taken, David. Yes, I haven't produced as much content as you and Adam, but I'm working on it. What are some good sources of clean audio? Audiobooks are usually the best choice for quality. Audible.com has a good selection. Interviews and podcasts are harder to work with, but they will produce a more natural tone. Whatever you choose, the result will sound like the same tone as the source. We will also need text to go along with the audio. If using an audiobook, we can get the text from a deeper book or a Kindle book. However, Kindle books are copyright protected, but we can take screenshots of each page and then convert them into text with free or CR. Ahaha, <laughs> so naughty. If using an interview or podcast for our source, we can use a speech to text engine like Google Speech to Text API or Nuance Dragon Professional. These products are not free, but they are the most accurate solutions. We will be using OpenOffice Visual Studio Code and Audacity to slice up the audio and text. Currently, we must do this manually by hand because complex and fast speech are very difficult tasks for artificial intelligence systems, but automated solutions are in the works. The audio needs to be mono and cut into lengths under 12 seconds. Just don't split words apart. The sample rate should be 22,050. A higher sample rate can be used but will be much more difficult to train. Name the saved cuts in a numbered order. Proofreading and editing will be necessary unless the associated text has perfect translation and punctuation. Even Kindle books can be slightly different compared to their audiobook equivalents. Speech to text translations will require more editing. Accurate punctuation is extremely important to control pauses and mood. Let's add the cut text into a numbered spreadsheet, like so. We need to do a few more things to the spreadsheet of text and audio cuts before we can train a model. The numbered column in the spreadsheet needs to be changed to the path of the associated wave file. We can use spreadsheet functions to make this easy.
we need to trim any spaces before and after the text like so. Finally, we must add some end of line characters until they work well for English text. We must split the spreadsheet into training and validation sections. Cut paste around 50 entries into a new spreadsheet. This will be our validation set. Save each set as a CSV file in ETF-8 format. Make the field delimiter a bar character, and use nothing for the text delimiter. If not using English as our language, we will need to change the text cleaners in the text slash cleaners.python file. Notice by default that some abbreviations are expanded, as well as numbers, and that capitalization does not matter. We will need to trim any silence from the beginning or ends of our audio files. We then must add back 0.1 seconds of silence to the end of each file. This will act as an end of line character for our audio. I recommend using the SOX program to batch process the audio. And you can use these scripts here. Be aware you may need to increase your open file limit if using these scripts in a Linux environment. Finally, our speaker corpus is complete and ready to be trained. We must now install the Techatron 2 repository and its requirements. Please refer back to part one of this tutorial for those details. Multiple GPU training can only be done with a Linux environment. If that is your plan, you will need to install the APIC repository as well. We need to change some settings before we train. Open the hparents.py file. Change epochs to a high number like 10,000. Make iterations per checkpoint 100 so that the model saves off it. If doing multi-DPO, make distributed run true. Change the path of training and validation files to point to your spreadsheet. The starting learning rate should be 1E-3. We need to find a batch size that fits our available video card memory. In most cases, the higher the batch size, the better the results will be. For instance, our TX8000 with 48 gigs of RAM can do a size between 120 and 128. If you see this zoom error when trying to train, it means that you have exceeded the limits of your video card memory. Kill the processes in Task Manager. Reduce the batch size and retempt training. This will be a matter of trial and error. Let's start a pencil word so that we can see the progress of our training. We care mostly about the training loss and validation loss charts. So you're smoothing halfway. Here we can see the progress image of the alignment. Training at the start will be tricky. If you see the values go to NAN, then you must start over. We can train the model around 10 to 20,000 iterations before this learning rate becomes unstable. We should also be seeing the attention alignment beginning to form before 10,000 iterations. If your attention is blank or looks like a bunch of horizontal lines, then you must restart the training process. Setting your attention dropout to 0.4 can help, 
then change it back to point one after the line. If the model collapses, go back to the last stable checkpoint and resume training. Then if the model collapses again before its next checkpoint, it's time to reduce the learning rate to 1E-4. Continue on a learning rate of 1E-4 to around 200,000 to 300,000 iterations, or until the training loss no longer progresses downward, but levels off. We must continue on a 1E-4 learning rate until the loss levels off again. Now it is time to reduce the learning rate to 1E-5. Now that the model is mostly trained, reduce the attention and decoder dropouts to point zero 0.08. When loss levels off, reduce the dropouts to point zero 0.06. Once the training loss levels off again, we can fine-tune the model with a learning rate of 1E-6. Our training process is complete when we are satisfied with the results. When running inference on your trained model, remember to set the attention and decoder dropouts to zero. Also, set the max decoder steps to a high number such as 10,000. Wonderful! Our training was a success. Well, I would say that was the best Techotron tutorial in the entire galaxy. I think even interdimensional aliens would be impressed. Thanks for having me on, David. And Adam, it was a pleasure to work with you again. It's always a joy to work with you, Neil. Yes, that was a lot to cover, but well worth it. It will be exciting to see all the cool things other people do with their own trained models. Thanks again, Dave, for getting this all together. Thank you, Adam, and thank you, Neil. Those were amazing performances. I will have to show this tutorial to my many monkey friends. They surely will go bananas. You both have a wonderful day. This tutorial is by no means the only good way to train a Tecotron 2 model. Feel free to experiment with your own technique and check the description of this video for any updates or new information. Become a Deeper Fakes member of Control Shift Aces Patreon and gain access to the Creator's Discord channel. There you can download the Attenborough model version 2 as well as the models for Adam and Neil. Please like and subscribe below for future videos and tutorials. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.